Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I am Lacey. I teach middle school. As you can see, I'm at school right now and about to get the day started. I'm usually the first teacher here for my team. So I like to turn on the lights for every classroom just in case the teacher maybe is running late. The kids can at least come in and sit down and be able to see. So that's what I'm doing now. When I have more time in planning, I will let you know what we're doing today. It's Tuesday the 16th and it should be a really fun day. We had a long weekend due to MLK day yesterday, so hopefully you guys enjoyed your long weekend as well. I'm excited for today to get right back into it, and I'm excited since it's a four day week. Now, just getting ready for the kids to come. They should be walking down the hall in just a few minutes. So I'm just getting ready for that. And then in planning, I will show you what we're doing today because we're having a lot of fun. And I think it's something that will be a hit with the kids. So I have to do some prep and all of that during planning. So I will show you all of that. We're playing a little review game. I tried to make it fun. So I will go over that with you guys once I'm in planning. All right, so the kids are gone, but as I said last vlog, Tuesdays are for grade level meetings, so I do have a meeting. Hopefully it's quick so I can show you what we're doing today and I have to do some prep. Um, I had a feeling we would have a meeting today just because it takes a lot of people to run a school and a lot of different personalities and there's just been some stuff that we've needed to discuss. So hopefully it goes well and I will check in with you after. Just got back from the meeting. We have about 20 minutes till the kids come. The meeting took a little while because we had to hash some things out, like I said. Now I'm getting ready for today. So we are going to play deal or no deal. So I have a whole bunch of deals, which I'll show you in a second. And basically they're doing it in teams and I will give them a question because I do teach ELA. So of course I'm not just playing a game, um, just to play a game. They are gonna read a passage, answer some questions. If their team gets the question right, then they can choose to just get their free point so, which is not a deal, or they can draw a deal from the stack. I actually just shuffled these, so even I don't know what order they're in, but the deal can be good or bad. So this is plus two, so instead of one point, you got two. But there's also some bad ones as well. Let me see if I can find one. Here we go, minus three. So instead of your one point, you now have negative three. So it's a risk. I also have this one, the other team gets a point. The other two teams because there is three teams and i also have answer the next question so they get like an extra turn so i have some deals some good some bad it's random it's shuffled i'm gonna shuffle them some more i'll probably shuffle them in front of the kids so that they don't think i'm being biased and choosing the deals and they're upside down you literally can't see through so we are going to be doing that i printed out all the passages for them and the questions will be up on the screen because if I printed it all out as one long packet, it would have been a lot of pages. And I have 90 kids, so it just works out that I'm going to have these be a class set and the questions will be up on the board. I bought them some candy, so whoever wins, I will be able to reward the whole group. So that is what we're doing today. It should be fun. The only thing I need to do really to prep because I already did the deals is hang up the signs. I have six rows, so two rows. Over here will be a team. These middle two rows are a team, and then the last two rows are a team. So I have some signs to hang up so they know what team they're on. I went ahead and hung the sign. So white team is those two rows. Then I have pink team in the middle two rows, and then green team on this side. I also put the passages under every single desk, if you can see that. So we are all ready to go. The kids have five minutes till they come. All right, so there's the scoreboard. The last thing I need to do real quick is find whiteboards. Last time we did trash get ball, I made a TikTok and a YouTube short, so check that out if you haven't. But we did trash get ball, which is the same rules basically, but instead of deal or no deal, they shoot the little ball if they get the question right. And I couldn't really hear them, like I thought they said D, but they really said B. So we're gonna do whiteboards this time to make it easier. All right, the kids are literally about to walk in, so I have the board already. I got the scoreboard already and I just put out these whiteboards and I have three markers ready and then all the teams are also ready. Green team, you have your answer. What do you guys think? A, B, C, or D? B is incorrect. White team, you guys have your answer ready? D is correct. 
If you get a point, I'll change it to negative one because obviously that's, you know, adding a point or you want to try for another deal. Okay, just try to, we'll just change this to negative one instead of negative two. We're getting closer to breaking even, so I understand. All right, the next question, question five, and then we'll read our next passage. Question five is pink team's question. How does paragraph five specifically, so look back at that paragraph, how does it contribute to the overall passage? It's lunchtime, and as you can tell by my face, this class that I have right now, my second class, they were too loud, too rowdy. I had to cut it off. They're at lunch now and then they are going to come back and work on a worksheet quietly. And some of them were loud enough that they are gonna have to write lines this afternoon. Um, but my first class, I filmed them. They did really well, they were quiet and they enjoyed the game. So this is something I'll definitely use throughout the year. All right, what do you guys think, pink team, for the last question for this passage? What do we think? CNN, that is correct. Do you guys want to make a deal? As you can see, it's the end of the day. I'm in the car headed home now. Honestly, I kind of wasn't in the mood to film because after my second class, I just realized once again, just how different classes are because my first class, they did amazing. I was able to film for you guys and show you what we were doing but the rest of the classes, I continuously had to remind them to be quiet and it just took the fun out of it, at least for me as a teacher. It was just frustrating. I am gonna reward my first class. It is my homeroom class because they honestly set the standard and I thought everyone else would act like that and behave, but they did not. So I'm gonna definitely reward my first class. It still was fun. It's still better than sitting and doing a packet, but I definitely know now who can handle it and who cannot and I'm going to reassess next time we play a game. But it was a good day. I'm glad I did it. I'm not someone who just sits and has them do worksheets all the time. So I'm still happy I did it. That's something that speaks to who I am as a teacher. I try to go outside of the box. I try to go above and beyond. And that's what I told them. Like, hey guys, it took me a lot more work to plan this than to just make copies of the packet for you to do. So I tried to have a chat with them and let them know like, all these things that we do take a lot of effort and time and planning and if you don't want me to do stuff that's fun then keep on acting like this and I promise you it'll go away. <laughs> Another annoying thing is that my screen stopped working and as you guys know my questions that they had an answer were on my screen so I last minute had to print them out and I didn't have time or enough paper to print them for every student because I have 90 students so that was annoying but try to stay positive we played a game I was interesting, I was engaging, they enjoyed my class today, and that's all that matters. Again, you live and you learn. I'm headed home now, I'm about to go to the gym because I go to the gym Tuesdays and Thursdays, and of course on the weekends. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I can do more videos like this where I actually show what I'm doing and interact with the students. Definitely comment down below any video ideas for 2024. Also like, share, and definitely subscribe to our channel, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys!